Now we're going to be talking about the treatment for the skin and as I discussed before there's a few small little capillaries that we can treat with one of our lasers, the Gemini laser, which does a wonderful job in ablating those little small capillaries and taking away redness. With the benign raised lesion here on the cheek, we can gently shave that away with one of our lasers, the erbium laser, which actually just takes away the finest layers and we just go down to the level where it is flush with the skin. There is also a few areas of little sunspots pigmentation and we'll actually be able to treat that with another one of our lasers that actually treats pigmentation. With these lasers, each different laser is attracted to a different component of the skin. The Gemini laser is attracted to the red of the blood vessels. The wavelength is actually green, so it's attracted to the red and that's how it actually contains heat energy within the vessels and then ablates the vessels. The laser that we use for pigmentation is more attracted to melanin or, or dark pigment. So it will go to the areas of pigment over the normal skin and it actually blasts those small particles of pigment and ablates them. With the erbium laser that we're going to treat this little raised lesion, it's attracted more to water within the skin. So it's kind of vaporizing very, very fine layers of the skin. And that's why we just take it very slowly, one layer at a time until we've got that even surface. With all of these treatments, Yvonne can expect to have a little bit of redness over the area that's been treated and often some swelling. The swelling usually lasts for a few days and she may even get a little bit puffy under the eyes because of the fluid retention that can happen. But the body soon clears that all up and it will settle down within a few days. When we treat the areas of pigmentation, they tend to show up darker immediately after treatment and over the next few days may even form like a very fine layer of crustiness which then just tends to dust off after about four or five days. So in summary, we have several different lasers that each serve a different purpose. So we can tailor the type of treatment that we're going to do to suit your individual skin's needs.